on fire. Pastor Gaben took us to another level. But now we're going to go to seven times. Pastor Landry, he's a, a son. He's no stranger to us. And every time he's in our midst, we are blessed with Mama Ani. I call her Mama Ani de Moi. Mama Ani de Moi. Can we just welcome them as warm the fur comes up to come and increase the furnace? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we honor God with joy and noise? I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. If your noise is louder than your neighbor, you receive a double portion of the fire tonight. Hallelujah. Some of you are still not understanding the mysteries beyond the fire. The Bible says when Jesus arrived, he stepped out of the boat, there was a man living in the cemetery. And that man was filled with demons. And he spoke to Jesus and said, what is it that you are coming to disturb us? It is not yet our time. The scholar of the Bible makes us understand that the demons were referring to the time where they have to be cast out in the fire. They knew that we can operate, but when Jesus decided to send us in the fire, our time is over. Any wicked power tormenting your life, tonight they will know that fire was made for them. You know what I'm saying? Any wicked power tormenting your family, Tonight, they will know that fire was made for them. I said, they will know that fire was made for them. Say after me, my father and my maker, as I lift up my voice, any family power holding me down, fire destroy you. Fire destroy you. Fire consume you. Fire destroy you. On my mother's side, fire. On my father's side, fire. Among my friends, fire. 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 Tonight is not a Mickey Mouse prayer. We are not praying for food. We are not blessing food. We are at war. And at war, if you are not prepared to take bullets, don't shoot. But right now, the enemy knows that you are here. I said, the enemy knows that you are here. That was during the day, he was discouraging you from coming here. Because he understand that the minute you step here, you are going to take back whatever he took away from you. So lift up your hand and say, my father and my maker. As I lift up my voice, I declare, I declare any, power any power that comes at my life, my life. I, remove it I remove it by fire, by, fire, by, thunder, by thunder, any power, any power taking, away taking away my opportunity, my opportunities. I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire. I release fire. I release fire. I give you glory and honor as you lead us in this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated for two minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I will not take much time. I'm just going to read verses and then we jump into prayer. Is that fine Hallelujah. with you? I'm just going to read. You took away your chair already. Pastor John is ready. We're going to remove chairs. Hallelujah. I just want to read two verses or two stories and then we pray. Amen? Is that fine with you? 
So you pray for an understanding. Hallelujah. Amen. But before we read, I would like to honor God for giving us the invitation to come here and to be a vessel that he will use. Hallelujah. Amen. I also would like to thank God and honor my father who is not in the house, the Bishop Mike Duambua, that I call him my coach. Hallelujah. There are levels in life. You have pastors, you have bishop, and then there are level of coach. If you know Cristiano Ronaldo today, it's because he has a coach. Hallelujah. Who tells him where to kick, how to kick, how to score. Hallelujah. So I would like to honor uh, my father and mommy, but maybe they are not around. And men of God, may the Lord bless you, Pastor Gaben, for great word of God. Can we put our hands together for the glory of God? Well done. Well done. Great moments, prayer, and the word of God. All the pastors in the house, Pastor John, Pastor Serge, Semeki, Mama, well done. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming. Semeki, I see you at the back there. May the Lord bless you. All the leadership in the house, God bless you. Hallelujah. And for yourself, put your hand together for being here today. And say to your neighbor, neighbor, Leo and Joe Leo. Your neighbor is not convincing. Say, neighbor, Leo and Joe Leo. Vumbi italamuka. There will be dust in this place. Hallelujah. We read the uh, book of 2 King, chapter 1. 2 <laughs> King, chapter 1. From verse 9. I will read quickly. The Bible says, Then the king sent to him a captain of 50. Hallelujah. With his 50 men. So he went up to him and there, wa there he was sitting on top of a hill. Sitting where? On top of a hill. Hmm. When the captain arrived there, he found Elijah sitting on top of the hill. Elijah was on the high position. Listen to what the captain said. And the captain said to him, come down. And Elijah, where am I, verse 10? A man of God, well, just give me a second to find. Okay, he went up to him, and there he was, sitting on top of the hill. And he spoke to him, man of God, the king has said, come down. So Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, if I am a man of God, then let the fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And fire came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50 men. Then he sent to him another captain of 50 with his 50 men. And he answered and said to him, Men of God, thus as the king said, come down quickly. So Elijah answered and said to them, If I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50 men. Verse 13, again he sent the third captain of 50 with his 50 men. And the third captain of 50 went up and came and fell on his knee before Elijah and pleaded with him and said to him, Man of God, please let my life and the life of these 50 men of yours be precious in your sight. Hallelujah. I just wanted to bring out this for you to understand that sometimes you are accepting to lose your position because you don't know how to pray. Elijah was on a good position. They said, calm down. He said, the only thing that will calm down from this will be fire. They said, Elijah, calm down. I said, hey, my friend, the only thing that will calm down will be the fire. Anyone that wants you to calm down from your marriage, the only answer they will get is fire. I said, anybody that wants you to calm down from your job position, the only answer they will get is fire. Anyone who wants you to lose your business, the only power they will get is fire. Anyone who wants you to lose your investment, the only answer they will get is fire. I am not moving from this mountain. You did not put me on this mountain. 
So the only answer you will get will be fire. Listen now, Elijah said. Not only fire will come down to you, even your fifth man. It means there are people who are operating in groups. Fire will locate them. Fire did not kill 51, did not kill 52. All the enemies that you know, fire. All the enemies that you don't know, fire. All the enemies that are invisible, fire. The enemies that are invisible, fire. The only thing that will come down, it is the fire of God. Some of you, God has placed you in positions and you have lost that simply because you did not know how to use the fire. Fire is available. Fire is available. If you don't believe me, ask the witches that are in this place. Fire is available. Fire is available. You know, tell me what I said. Fire is available. Fire is available. Some of your blessings, you cannot touch them. You cannot eat them. You cannot enjoy them because you have not used the fire. You can buy beans from the shop, but you can never eat those beans until you put them on the fire. Fire will make what was hard to become soft. Fire will make what was raw to become cooked. Fire will all, you know tell what I'm saying. Somebody shout and say, fire! So when I lead you in prayer, to say anybody that wants you down, fire must answer you. Even I tear, it is biblical. Are we together? It is what? Biblical. In this life, it is either you or them. In this life, it's either you or them. The Bible says they will want to eat your flesh. But they will find themselves eating their own flesh. They will want to drink your blood. But they find drinking their own blood. In other words, it's either your flesh or their flesh. Either your blood or their blood. I'm here to declare to somebody, any power wanting to bury you, they shall bury themselves by fire, by thunder. I say by fire, by thunder. Listen. In this life, every time you go higher, somebody's going down. You know hearing what I'm saying? Every time God puts you up, understand that God has put someone down. There are people, their prayer is for you to die. There are people, their prayer is to bury you alive before your time. Oh my God. Listen, they will wait and wait. You know what I'm saying? I said they will wait and wait. You are not going to be used as an example of Christian who fail. In this tonight's prayer, we are releasing the fire of God. To every calendar, every evil calendar, fire consumer, fire destroy. If you believe, shout and say, fire. Quickly, the book of Acts chapter 28 says this. Apostle Paul escaped death from the boats. And then when they reach an island, you know the story, of, we are all Christians. When they reach an island, they were all wet. It was raining and it was cold. What attracted me was, the Bible said they began to put fire. They just escaped death. But before putting fire, the Bible says everything was fine. But yet Paul decided to set fire. You must be careful in life when things are okay. Don't relax. It is when things are okay that when the enemy strike you. That when you hear people say, he just walked out of the house, it was okay, we don't understand, they knocked him, he died. 
we don't understand everything was okay. He was brilliant in school. But as he was about to graduate, his father died and no one can pay school fees. So they justify your failure by an unfortunate situation. You must be careful. When things are okay, that's when you must pray. Not when they propose to you, then you relax praying. Understand there are people praying for that man to change his mind. It must be you. Someone say, Pastor, speak. I'm trying my best here. Someone say, Pastor, speak. I'm trying my best here. There are people every time you come to church, they are not happy because they see you increasing power. That's what Paul said, we just escape, but let us now set fire. Because fire will keep us alive. Something happened. When they set fire, Paul realized that fire was going off. So he went and fetched some sticks. As he fetched more wood coming to the fire, the minute he put the wood on the fire, a snake came out of the wood and went to bite his hand. Somebody say, Pastor, speak to me. I'm trying my best here. You will know that the snake was in the woods, but the snake never attacked Paul until Paul took the wood to the fire. Do you know that there are some blessings? You will know who is your enemy only when there will be a movement in your life. All this time that you are not speaking about money, you will never know who is your real enemy until you say, I have made 500,000 benefit. You will know an enemy rising from nowhere and begin to attack you. Until you say, I'm now engaged. You will know who is your enemy and fight your life. The snake looks like wood, but they are not wood. Snakes can be in the church, but we will know the difference when we set the church on fire. Tonight we are going to set the church on fire. Your family on fire. Your business on fire. Your ministry on fire. Your neighborhood on fire. Listen. The snake did not attack Paul at the legs. Mm -mm. The snake went on his hands and bites. Because the snake understands. The Bible says, I will bless the fruit of your hands. The snake has poison. It will put poison at the fruit of your hands. That's why if you are in this place as a Christian, your salary is smaller than what you spend a month, there is a problem. Can I say it again slowly? If you are in this place as a Christian, your salary is smaller than what you have to spend a month, there is a problem. You cannot get 20,000 and then you need to spend 30,000. Every month is headache. There is a poison on your hands. You must refuse that life. And say, Father, I must swap now my bills. What was my expenses must become my salary. And my salary must become now my expenses. Oh, because when the snake bites your hand, there is poison. Your fruit is not blessed anymore. Mutumishi, I realized one thing. Some people, they are not paying their tithe because, not because they don't want to pay their tithe, because the enemy has sent a snake on their hands. Every time money comes in, there is a problem. That was some Christians, every time you can save up to 20, 30,000, the minute you reach 31,000, you will have a problem of 32,000 rent. You go back to zero. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh, I was there. Every time you save, you will get a problem that will require the same amount that you save. In my family, I don't just give money to the family problem. I pray to God first. Because I know the devil can come. One uncle that I don't know. One auntie that I don't know. Who goes and die in the village somewhere. And the first person that will call is me to say send money for burial. I did not kill that uncle. I 
refuse to be a victim. You know, sharing what I'm saying. I say, I refuse to be a victim. The snake attacked Paul at the hands. And what I love is the Bible says Paul shook his hands in the fire. Somebody says, shake. Somebody said very well, shake. Paul shook his hand, and the snake realized that I cannot remain attached to the hand. I will fall in the fire. I brought you a solution to your problem. It's fire. You know what I'm saying? I said I brought a solution to your problem. Is what? The reason they're not seeing you is because you have not put your husband through fire. You cannot be a woman. And you have reached the age of getting married. And there is no one. God is not unfair. He's a fair God. He's either your husband somewhere. He's not there through fire. The slave queen taking his time somewhere. Send fire. You cannot submit a CV. They take a CV of an unsafe person. You a speaking in tongue person. They throw your CV. Ah, bongo, bongo. Fire. You cannot submit a business proposal. They take an unsafe business all for your own. Oh. My son went to buy a house. He, called, he took me to that house. We're going to pray for someone. When we got in the house, that white lady said, I'm selling my house. You know how clean the house is. But you guys are not the first choices. I've got five people that are coming. They are qualified. I looked at this lady speaking long English. I say, now this son of mine begin now to shake. I say, Pastor, you know, we, if there are five people uh, qualified, what about us? I say, wait. I will teach this lady a lesson. I said to the lady, let us hold hands and pray. We hold hands. I said, Father, I declare, as I'm in this house, nobody will buy this house unless my son take it. Anybody that will submit the application, let your fire locate that application and consume it. And I hold the hand and everybody say in Jesus' name we pray and everyone say amen, amen, amen. Fire. I love fire. And the white lady said, your prayers. One week, no one called. Second week, the first man was coming to buy the house. Accident on the road. Called the lady said, no, I can't make it. I just had an accident. The third one was going. They just robbed me. I can't. All five people, they had serious problem, end up in the hospital. So the lady called my son to say, I want to see that pastor. Not you. Bring me that pastor. When they called me, then I felt big. I said, I'm going to walk big because I will serve a big God. I walk in the house of that lady. I say, excuse me, you are looking for me. She said, you must make another prayer to release my house. I say, I told you, if my son does not buy this house, nobody else will buy this house. Sign my son's offer and take the house. She said, I'm going to try. I say, if you don't sign, no one will take the house. One month, no one bought it. Two months, and this she called. And then I said to my son, give a lower offer. When you know the power of fire, you are not going to compromise. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Until the lady signed and God opened. The son took the house and was shaking and said, Pastor, I don't understand. I said, you will not understand how fire operates. All you have to say is fire, 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 fire. Somebody said, Pastor, release the fire. We are going to pray now. Pack our chairs. All those small witches that are playing with you because you don't use fire. You, a grown up Christian, they attack you at night and they choke you.
Hallelujah. This is how we're going to pray. You all know the drill. If I say, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, and the church say, amen, 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 fire. Fire is not just a slogan. It's a stamp in the spiritual prayer to approve what you are saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Elijah called the prophet of Baal and said to them, everyone must call upon their God. Let the real God answer by what? Every time they call you on the phone, you say, hello. When you call God, God answer by fire. When you address God, it is a fire that responds. When you say hello, God answers your problem with fire. If the problem is good, the fire of God will purify it. But if there's a demonic attach, the fire will destroy it. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand and say, My Father and my Maker. I pray this evening. I pray this evening. Every wicked power. Every wicked power. Attached to my hands. Attached to my hands. Every poison. Every poison. Attached to my hands. Attached to my hands. Attached to my finance. Attached to my finance. Tonight. Tonight. I declare. I declare. Fire destroy you. Fire destroy you. Fire consume you. Fire consume you. Fire destroy you. Fire destroy you. Fire consume you. Fire consume you. Every word. Every word. Attached to my business to my business to my career to my career to my studies to my studies i release fire 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 Spiritually, there are people right now who are paying the interest of the money that they did not borrow. Yeah. When you go to a bank and take a loan, you can finish the 10,000 loan, but you are not going to pay back 10,000. Yeah. Even after paying 10,000, the bank will hold you responsible for the interest. Yeah. Some of our grandparents, they took loan with the devil. Hey. But right now we are paying the interest, the interest of money we did not eat. Come on. That's what the Bible says. The parents have eaten the grapes, but the children sit on the edges. The parent went and provoked something, but today we are paying the price. Oh, Hallelujah. In tonight's program, God has made it a setup to cancel every debt. That the enemy is holding you responsible. Say so after me, my father, my father, and my maker, and my maker. By the power, by the power of the fire, of the fire, I declare, I declare any debt, any debt from my grandparents, from my grandparents that has decided, that has decided to kill people. To kill people before their time. Before their time. I declare. I declare. I will not die. I will not die. Before my time. Before my time. I will not die. I will not die. Before my time. Before my time. I don't care. I don't care. Whoever. Whoever. Made that covenant. Made that covenant. I cancel it. I cancel it. As I clap my hand. As I clap my hand. I destroy. I destroy. Every power. Every power. Of symmetry. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fake friend, every fake friend, every enemy, every enemy, pretending, pretending to be with me, to be with me, right now, right now, I increase the fire, I increase the fire, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them. in my life, in my every life. fake friend, every fake fire locate you. Fire locate you. Fire locate you. Fire locate you. Anybody that is pretending to laugh with me and is talking beyond my back to bury me. Whoever you are, fire, 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 fire. 
say anybody anybody against my children against my children tonight tonight you will know you will know that fire that fire was made for you was made for you any enemy any enemy of my children of my children fire locate you 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 die by fire 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 die by thunder die by fire die by fire die by thunder die by thunder as I clap my hand, as I clap my fire hand. locate! Fire. fire! I cannot say you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the church says, Amen! 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 Amen. Fire! Now you are going to hold hands with your family member. We are going to pray for our family. If you don't have any family member, grab someone that looks like you. And just hold hands. There is power when you set your family on fire. Did you know that some enemies they choose which house or which family to attack based on the fire? They will tell themselves, don't go to this house. Because the minute you touch them, the response of fire you will get. You won't recover. In this house, we have electricity. But when you go outside, there are boxes where they will write signal system on it is to tell you that the level of electricity that is here is not for you to come play you don't tell what I'm saying you need to set your family see system vault they must know that this house is not to be touched you know what I'm saying it's after me my father and my maker we represent our family any wicked power operating generation after generation from tonight let them know that there is fire available we stand against family poverty fire destroy it fire consume it family sickness Fire destroy it. Fire consume it. Any power to rise and fall. Fire destroy it. From tonight, we shall go higher and higher and higher and higher by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. As we pray, no power shall bury our family we set our family on fire every corner fire those who are here on fire those who are not here on fire everybody fire begin to pray for your family To shake, to shake every snake, every snake attached to my hand, attached to my hand. Rasekaya, ibi yowasiya. There is a move of God. The fire of God will walk through these ties, hey. through this flow. Eka. It is a night of deliverance. It is a night of divine impact. Encounter with God. Your finance is about to be set free now. Amen. I say your finance is about to be set free. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Your finance is about to be set free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father. Father, every snake, every snake attached to my hands, attached to my hand, I declare, I declare, I shake you, I shake you by fire, by fire, by thunder, by thunder, every snake, every snake, denying, denying my contract, my contract, fire destroy you, fire destroy you, fire consume, fire consume, fire consume every snake, every snake attacking, attacking my marriage, my marriage, fire destroy you, fire destroy, fire you. consume, fire consume every snake. Snake every snake attacking attacking my signature my signature on my contract on my contract wherever you are wherever you are fire 
My father, my from today, from the year, I declare, I repeat, let your fire, let your fire, destroy, destroy all my enemies, all my enemies of progress, of progress, by fire, by fire, by thunder. Rosaya keyaba, demo kaya sekaya, ribona mea siaka, bebe roba si andemeka. Ripo. Amen. Fire. Say, Father, in our church, in our church, we release your fire. We release your fire against against any power, any power of financial dryness, of financial drought. Every witches, every witch fighting our church, fighting our church shall encounter your fire. Shall encounter your fire. Any witches, any witches coming to our house, coming to our house shall encounter your fire. Shall encounter your fire. I declare. I declare. I decree. I decree. My life. My life is on fire. Is on fire. My church. My church is on fire. Is on fire. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. I increase the fire. I increase the fire. Commencez à remercier Dieu. Remercie Yahweh. Dis Seigneur merci. Say Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. My life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again. We thank you for your fire. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for open doors. We thank you because this is my month of giving birth. No devil will eat my babies. No devil will eat my blessings. No devil will eat my marriage. No devil will eat my marriage. No devil will eat what is mine. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we bless your name. Thank you, Lord God. The heavens are open. And Lord, the reign of healing is in this place. Your reign of provision is in this place. Your reign of deliverance is in the house. Your reign of multiplication is in the house. Thank you for resurrection power. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. In Jesus' name we pray and we say, Amen. Hallelujah.